boys and girls, welcome to today's lesson. Happy New Month. Imagine, today we are in the month of March. Wow! Can we give a big clap to our God? He has taken care of us in January, February, and today we are on the third month of the year. Isn't our God amazing? Yes, he is. So, before we start our lesson, we have a new topic and we have new exciting lessons that we want you boys and girls to learn. So call everyone in your home, hold each other's hand. We want to bow down our heads and pray before we begin our lesson. Let us close our eyes and pray. Let's say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on us as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, we want to thank you for this wonderful Sunday you have given us. We thank you, Lord, that we are able to come to your presence, to learn about your word, to learn how to grow in wisdom and, and, and in your word, O oh Lord. Help us to listen to what you're telling us, Help us to follow your commands and help us to be good boys and good girls who obey your commandments. In Jesus' name we believe and pray. Amen. Everyone say amen. So my name is Teacher Annette, just in case you have forgotten. And I have a song. It's a song that you all know. So I want us to prepare our hands and clap. If you're able to dance, please dance. If you're able to lift up your hands, please lift them up. If you're able to clap, please clap. It is good to worship and praise who? God. As we always say in Psalm 150, verse 6, it says, Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. So this morning or this afternoon, whichever time you're watching, I know you have breath. So let us praise God through this song that says, Jesus' love is so wonderful. Okay? Are we ready? Good, let's get ready. Jesus' love is very, very wonderful. Jesus' love is very, very wonderful. Jesus' love is very, very wonderful, so wonderful love, so high that you can get over it, so deep that you can get under it, so wide that you can get around it, so wonderful love. Jesus' peace is very, very wonderful. Jesus' peace is very, very wonderful. Jesus' peace is very, very wonderful. So wonderful peace. So high that you can get over it. So deep that you can get under it. So wide that you can get around it. So wonderful love. Wow. Clap for yourself, boys and girls. And clap for Jesus. That song simply means that you can never, ever get tired or get over with Jesus' love. And that song informs our topic for this month. And the topic is my God. Everyone say, my God. And the lesson that we are learning today is that my God loves me. Everyone, can you show me the sign of love? Yes. And love comes from the heart. And I have a shape of a heart here. Can you see the shape of my heart? Good. Love comes from the heart. And when you love Jesus, and Jesus loves you, he lives in your heart, he lives in your soul, he is present in your life. And the river of love will always flow from there. And so, today, boys and girls, I want to ask us, what things do people do or do you do to show love? What do you do? What do we do 
to show that we love someone, we appreciate them, or we like them. Uh -huh. Wow. Some people will say, I have a friend at school, and every time I go to school, I say hi to them and I give them a hug. Wow. Uh -huh. And at home, how do we show love to each other, to our parents, or how do our parents show us love? They buy us, or they buy you gifts on your birthdays, or even if it's not on your birthday, they buy for you gifts because they love you. And in return, what do you do for them? You say thank you with a big smile, you run to them and hug them and appreciate them because you love them. Wow. So imagine we love our friends, we love our cousins, we love our siblings, for those who have brothers and sisters. Our parents love us. And now God loves us even more. And we are going to get our reading from the book of Genesis. I have my Bible, boys and girls. Make sure you have got your Bible. The Bible is God's word. The Bible is the truth. And as I always say, that the Bible is our map. For a Christian, for a believer, and a follower of Jesus Christ, this book called the Bible is our guide. It tells us what we need to learn about God. It tells us how God wants us to carry ourselves around. It tells us of many, many promises of God. So every time you open this Bible and you read, there's always truth that you get from there. And so our reading is taken from the book of Genesis. Genesis is the first book of the Bible, and it is in chapter 3. And what story do we get there at chapter 3, boys and girls? We get there two people. What were the first people that God created? Uh -huh. The first man, God created Adam, very good. And after he created Adam, he said, mm -mm, Adam won't, sleep al won't, won't, won't stay alone. He needs someone to talk to. He needs someone to keep him company. And so God created who? Eve. So Eve was the mummy. And he placed them in a beautiful garden. What's the name of that garden, boys and girls? Aha. Uh -huh. If you said Eden, or Eden, then you are correct. Clap for yourself. Good job. So he placed them in this beautiful, beautiful garden of Eden. Remember, he had created the seas, the waters, the skies, everything. So people were the last creation that God made. And he rested. And he rested knowing that everything he has created is good, it is beautiful, it is peaceful. And he gave a command to Adam and Eve. And he told them, they take care of all the creation. And again, he told them, you can eat all the foods and all the fruits in all these places. But there is one place you should never go and you should never touch. Do you remember that story, boys and girls? Hey, we have done it many, many times. So I'm just going to go through it and, and, and bring this lesson of God's love, of how God loves us very much. So they live there. And one time, boys and girls, you remember, the serpent came. Whom did the serpent talk to first? Was it Adam or Eve? He talked to Eve. And he asks Eve and says, Do you think, did God really say that you should not eat? Imagine, boys and girls, Eve forgot what God had said. Maybe she, did, she didn't remember. That's what happens when we, we, don't, we don't remember God's commandments. We end up doing bad things. So Eve was convinced by the serpent and she ate the fruit that God said no to and she gave some to Adam and they ate. And what happened from there, boys and girls? Yes, they were chased out of the garden. God was not happy. He was not happy at all because they had disobeyed his commandments. But here's the interesting thing, boys and girls. They disobeyed him, but he still loved them enough. For example, at home, when you do something very, very bad, you annoy your mommy very, very, uh, very, very, you make her very, very sad, or even your dad. Do they chase you out of the house and they tell you, you go and look for another mommy or you go and look for another daddy? Probably not. They will punish you, yes, but they will not uh, like sell you to another family. So this is what God did. They disobeyed him, 
but he still loved him. And because all of us, we come from the, the first uh, person that God created, that was Adam and Eve. All of us, we come from there. That's why today we are told that we are sinners. We are born sinners. And God had a perfect plan. And what was that plan, boys and girls? To make sure that we still have a relationship with him. He still loves us. We still love him. And he sent us his only son, Jesus Christ, to die for us on the cross so that we, if we believe in Jesus Christ, we become children of God. He extends his love to us. That's why we are singing in the, in the song and saying, God's love is very, very wonderful. It is so high. We can't even get over it. It is so deep. We can never get under it. It is so wide. We can never get around it. God loves you. God loves me. God loves all of us very much. And his desire is that boys and girls, we will grow to love him. We will grow to obey him. We will grow to walk in, in his ways every day of our lives. Even though we sin, and what is sin, boys and girls, sin is not just what Adam and Eve did. Even today, we sin. How do we sin? We sin by talking badly sometimes. We sin by using our hands to take things that do not belong to us. We sin by using our eyes to watch things that we are not supposed to watch. We sin by thinking, filling our mind with things that are not pleasing to God. So what is sin, boys and girls? Sin is anything we do, anything we think, anything we say that does not please God. And every time when we sin, God is reminding us that we need to come to him. And if we have accepted Jesus Christ as our savior and as our friend and he lives in our lives, then we keep on uh, repenting of, of, of our sins and just getting ready to be good children of God because God loves us very much and he does not want us someday we will all die. And when we die, he wants us to be smiling in heaven with him. He doesn't want us to be burning in hell and getting, and getting um, stressed and not happy. He wants us to be happy in heaven with him. And that's why, as I wind up my lesson today, boys and girls, I want us to share the memory verse. And it's a verse that we all know. John 3, 16. What does it say? It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life the world is you and i boys and girls god did not love your mommy alone he did not love Titanet alone he loved all of us and he says whoever believes anyone can believe in god anyone you don't have to be i don't know in which country or whichever anyone whether you're young whether you're old whether you're big anyone can believe in Jesus Christ and he says that if we believe in him we will have eternal life and quickly I want to share with us this why do I have these hearts here this was which color is this red good and this one black and if I flip this side it will be color white so now as I share with you boys and girls we are sinners Color black, I'm not saying that color black is a bad color. It's just a representation. It's representing our sinful state. When we say bad things, when we think bad things, when we do bad things, we are sinners. And we are separated from God. God does not want us to live far away from him. So he had a solution. And what was the solution? His only begotten son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross as we will be celebrating Easter in the coming weeks. And Jesus died on the cross. He bled. His blood is the one that set us free and washed away our sins. And when we are believing in Jesus Christ, we become once again pure people. Our sins are forgiven. And now we are united back to God. So boys and girls, as you walk around, tell your friends about Jesus. Tell your family members about Jesus. Tell them about the love of Jesus because Jesus loves us very much god loves us very much that's why he gave us jesus and he wants us to live and enjoy our lives in him amen amen so please tell people about that memory verse john 3 16 because i know you know it and after you watch this video 
click the next link, you will find a paper there, very nice paper that you can color and you can file it. And remember that God loves you. He loves you very much. Don't you ever sit there and feel sad? God loves you very, very much. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for your lesson today. We say that you are a loving father. You have called us your children. You have united us back to you through Jesus Christ. We pray that may you help us and help all the children in the world to believe in you, to trust in you, and to walk in your ways. In Jesus' name, we believe and pray. Amen. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. See you next time.